Welcome everyone to your chakra reading for the month. I hope you guys are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with your chakras. Trying to keep yourself balanced. Okay. Best messages coming out. You have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Yeah. Talking about that third eye chakra, but you have all those chakras in there. It's just see all of that you see the heart chakra the throat chakra communicating with the universe communicating communicating with yourself knowing exactly what it is you want and keeping yourself very disciplined about it so yes and we have health coming out i will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul Ooh. so keeping yourself very healthy as well so when we're talking about discipline we're also talking about that health healthy mind healthy body healthy habits healthy boundaries right? Anything that wants to help the body out, right? The body is the temple. So making sure that it is well taken care of, well nourished. And Spirit wants to talk about grief. I understand the, that losing something is an important, oh yes, is an important opportunity to appreciate it. And why? Why is that? Because whenever you lose something, you gain something. So it wants you to understand that losing something is the opportunity to appreciate it. You never can appreciate something you, you know, that you've never had. It's kind of like that. Uh, reminds me of that. Uh, it's better to have loved than to have never loved at all. Because at least then we know what love is. And when it comes back around, we know, you know, um, how we want it. Right. We know what we want to expect from it. Um, and and we appreciate it. Right. You can't appreciate something you never had. Right. So ooh, I like that. And going after that success. I know there is no greater goal than to love. Ooh. Absolutely. You love what you have. You love what you, you know, who you love, what you love. My success is my love right? Being very passionate about what it is you want to do, what that drives you to want to be successful. Your job drives you. Like this channel for me, it drives me. It, I'm very passionate about it. I try to be as passionate as possible. Um, you, know, every, you know, we all have our days though, right guys? Um, no matter what, but when I get here and I sit down, you know, it's like, this is what drives me. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm passionate about. And that's what it's saying. Make sure though that you feel very healthy about the situation. Right. Because it's good for you. Mind, body, soul. Um, rest and reconsider. So if you are looking at something, my friends, and we have a nine coming out here, too, that you know that you might feel this is not what I'm passionate about. I need to be more disciplined in things that make me feel good. Right. I need to reconsider where I'm going and what I want using that clarity of the third eye chakra over here. Remember, we have here in the middle, right of the middle of the deck here, we have the grief. Right. That's that desire. That's that uh, sacral chakra that's saying this is what I desire. This is what I try to attract into my life through my desires. Right. So this is what I want to appreciate. This is what I truly want. Right. Is that success. And I have to be very disciplined in doing so. I guess got a lot of third eye chakras going on over here. A lot of clarity and understanding this month of what it is that you want and where your joy and stability are coming from. So there is going to be this place within you where it's kind of like I'm going after my desires of what I choose, but I want to make sure that it's very healthy for me, right? Something that makes me feel good, makes me feel pure about the situation. It could be love. It could be success. A lot of it is success and growth. A lot of it could just be your finances. It could be, um, you know, uh, your career, but it's whatever it is for you, right? That you know you're very passionate about, but you know that there's going to be discipline to get there, right? Um, yeah. So Sarah says, don't stop. Don't stop believing in what you're doing and don't stop and don't hesitate towards getting towards what it is you truly want. Keep thinking, keep that clear mind going. Keep those desires rolling, right? <clears throat> because the situation will improve. The more you grab at it, and the more you reach towards it, the more you keep yourself disciplined on your path and what it is you truly want on your light, 
you will get where you feel you need to be. Right? Because the space says you're ready. You're ready right now. I think deep down inside you guys know you're ready. Maybe it's just about how I'm going to get there. How it's going to open. What steps do I need to take? What actions do I need within my life to get to exactly where it is I want to be? But through the right actions and the right interactions, you will find what it is you truly need because your clarity was just going to keep going crazy over here. I think your intuition is going crazy too. <clears throat> Because, I mean, that's your third eye, so. Let's see. Yeah. Fruits of your labor and feeling very comfortable about the rewards. Wanting that luxury. Wanting that contentment. Finding yourself self-sufficient. And I feel like you are self-sufficient in many ways, my friends. And, you know, and it doesn't mean that you're rich and it doesn't mean that it means self-sufficient in the way that I'm pursuing after my goals, pursuing after my success, the way I'm desiring and pushing myself. All you need is a little more discipline. Spirit says that discipline, you know, maybe you need to make a <clears throat> some kind of chart, right? To keep yourself going. Like for instance, for Christmas I got this daily planner. Because I didn't have, I mean, I had one, but it wasn't, it wasn't what you think, right? It's just, before it was just this piece of paper, right? This little book. But I actually got this daily planner now to keep myself moving, right? So maybe you guys need some kind of daily planner, right? And this one's cool too, because if I want to make a vision board out of it, you know, I can do that too and actually get my manifestations out as well. Haven't gone that far though, but uh, if I wanted to, I could, right? And maybe you can do that too. Make yourself the vision board that you need. Say, you know what, and I'm going to visualize what it is I need as well. So that way, as I'm being disciplined on this situation, I will guide myself to what I want and also manifest on it as well. Ho, ho. Yeah, that's why they make them like that. I got that on Amazon. It's, it wasn't very expensive, guys. So if you need something like that, just remember, you always have the tools, right? Extra tools. Um, but, uh, yeah, and this is saying that you will have plenty. The financial stability that you are looking for, this feels so, so financial for most of you. If, if it's love, then, you know, keep going strong, whatever it is for you, my friends. Okay, but this is, this is the financial stability that you're looking for. This is what you're going to travel to. You already have the freedom. You see the falcon on her hand. She's like, I already got where I want to be. I've already got the freedom in mind. But I have to get disciplined to really get there. Hmm. To really make those pinnacles pop. To get the overall rewards and luxuries that I'm looking for. But I'm already planted. But see, she's already planted her seeds. So they're saying the majority of you have already planted these seeds. You're waiting for them to bloom. Or you're figuring, trying to figure out how to do the rest. I don't know. I feel like for some of you, you're, you're trying to... I think, through, I think through discipline, you're fertilizing... You're fertilizing the dream. You're fertilizing what it is you want for that extra joy, stability, for the extras, for that extra success that you're looking for within your life to really bring in that contentment. That's really what I feel. Take it how it resonates. It's general reading, but whosever energy I'm, I'm picking up, it's like I understand the desire. I just need that extra push. That extra push is that discipline to continue to keep going because it says you're ready. Yeah, because a lot of you feel like you were carrying a lot of burdens, a lot of struggle, a lot of struggles, excuse me, getting a little burned out. You don't want to burn yourself out. Discipline is not about being burned out. Discipline is about knowing where your boundaries are and how much you can carry, right? And that's why I said maybe a planner, a daily planner, or, you know, do things like this, right? Um, because it is. It, that's exactly what it is. I'm over pushing myself. It causes grief, discontentment, when I'm all I'm looking for is really the contentment. And that's why it says rest. I see it. Thank you. I see it. Yeah. Rest and release a little. 
So with the discipline, you can reset things. That's where the health is coming into. I, I see it all coming, really coming together now. It's kind of like, just like, it's really intermeshing. I get it. Sometimes they don't always come together as kind of a mishmash, but now I'm seeing it all. I see, I see what's going on. Delays, yeah. This is where you are feeling like you have the resistance and lack of control. There it is. The lack of control is where the discipline comes in. It's getting away from me. I know where I want to succeed and I know where my success lies and I know that I can get there. I'm trying to push all these things together, but I'm overworked. If you're overworked, then you're not resting and then you lose that control, which then can also cause standstill and resistance. And then it can also cause just kind of this uh, dissatisfaction. This is the only word I can really come up to. It's almost to the point where it's like, I know what I desire so bad, but then it just feels like I'm not getting anywhere over, over doing it with not enough discipline. Okay. Into unhealthy boundaries. Unhealthy. Okay. Okay. Get it? Yeah, conserving, conserving energy, conserving control with self-improvement, building on the solid foundations. Then you won't feel like there's scarcity. You won't feel like you have to hold on so tight to something that you're not getting any pleasure out of it with the, uh, yeah. Because when you have a certain kind of discipline, a certain kind of discipline comes with a plan and a plan comes with success and growth. But if we just kind of move, 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 right? It's not really going anywhere. It's just kind of, now I'm just worn down. Yep. So you have to center yourself. You're centering your, your desire and your heart chakra because you already have the knowing. But now you need to really plant your feet because there's an imbalance. You start feeling imbalanced, like I'm doing too much. I'm, I don't, and I don't feel the control. But once you start doing that, my friends, you will have this, you will have the centering that you need for that you know, financial independence and self-care because the queen of pentacles in reverse saying there has to be a little more self-care and the self-care also comes with knowing how to push yourself so you're not pushing yourself over, over the top to be disappointed, finding that balance, testing your, then it will, it will test your faith and test your boundaries. Absolutely. friggin -lutely. Because that's what the universe does too. It says, well, if you want that so bad, but it's kind of funny because it's almost like the universe is saying, but I'm not testing you. You're testing yourself. I kind of just gave it to you to see where you're going to go. And you made it to the point to where it was going to be this persistentness, but then it became this kind of wounded warrior area of your life and became very pessimistic because then you're moving so fast. You can't allow to see the growth or you can't allow the, the seeds to grow. Hmm. But you have the wheel of fortune. Allow it to have its ups and downs. Allow it to have its changing points. Because the wheel can only move so long, you know, so long and so far. But it's going to have its ups and downs. I mean, that's what the wheel does. Right? So it's pretty much whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger scenario. But the problem with this scenario is that you're kind of killing yourself. Because you're not disciplining yourself to the points of where you need to be. Hmm. Believe in yourself and you have the courage to continue. So sit down, relax, and watch the magic happen in some ways, which means you don't have to over push. It's kind of like being over, obs that's what it is. It's like an over obsession, over excessiveness. So then this will cause a new phase and it's going to allow you to give yourself mercy as the judgment comes in. Because now you've healed and now you've found the boundaries, you've found the footing, you've found, you've found that healthy place within yourself of how you're going to be disciplined and maneuver. Hmm. Okay. And that's kind of a wake-up call, isn't it, though? It absolutely is. It's your own redemption. And it's actually like the universe is saying, but I never tested you, really. It was you who tested yourself. Oh, my gosh. Over-restricting yourself. Ah, that's just like, man, and I tell you, manifestation always comes back to this, to these things all the time. A lot of the perfect timing is our own because we give our too many of our own restrictions, hold on too tight, and don't allow it to go with the flow. 
And then we want to blame the universe for not letting it in when it was actually the universe going, um, excuse me, excuse me. Um, yeah, there's going to be a test inside this manifestation, but you're making this manifestation way harder than the tests I'm going to give you because you're testing your own will over testing for no reason to the point where you're a wounded warrior. I can't pick up the pieces for you when you're taking it to an unhealthy level. I need you to relax. That's where the rest card comes in. Okay. The four of cups. Nine of cups. Nine of wands. <laughs> you could get them all, right? You're like, well, you know, and actually on that, you have them all. You have nine of wands over there. That's fine. Yeah. Obsessive with work. False success. Deception, lack of faith. See, because you... This is where you, the Spirit says, okay, this is where the balance has to come in, right? Because you have already done this. That was here. That's why I said it. it feels like you just are fertilizing. But then it became in reverse. You, whoa, now you're killing yourself, okay, to get to this place. But you, it's not needed. You think it's needed. It's an illusion. It's an illusion because you actually just need the discipline to understand how to balance it out. So then the wish can come true and the contentment and satisfaction nine of cups, there it is. That's exactly what you're looking for. That's exactly pretty much that nine of pentacles. The contentment, the luxury, allowing now everything to smoothly flow with that little bit of discipline that's needed. Whether for some of you it might be a lot and so for others it just could be this little, it just feels like it's fertilizing. Like you need some miracle grow over here, but you need to settle down and take some time to rest. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's almost like you're over pushing. Hmm. And that just causes balance and imbalance issues. That's all. And once you fix that little thing, you're going to notice, boom, then that wheel will start turning again and, you know, really start going. And you'll notice things are really going to start gliding together in a flow. But an even flow. The collaboration with the universe, yeah. Collaboration within yourself and also allowing your chakras to go too because when you're in e when you're doing things uneven and you're pushing too much, you're also allowing your chakras to, to not run smoothly. Remember that chakra is the source of our energy space. So you're going to get worn down real fast. You're not going to allow the chakras to really move the way that they need to move to produce what they need to produce. It's our energy center. Everything on the planet, the trees have one, the dog has one, Right? So, I mean, everything that's living on this planet has a chakra system. I mean, they, that's what brings out aura. So you could say my aura is even, um, you know, imbalanced. Could be dim. I have a dim light going, right? It's the energy center of where you're going. And push that aura up. Yeah, because otherwise right now it's just causing these delays and could cause dis confusion. You don't want to need confusion. You're going to get out of the Three of Swords and go straight into the Three of Cups, which is a beautiful energy. And that's exactly what you need. That way you know you're balanced. You don't want to be imbalanced. It causes cause your mind to be imbalanced. It, causes, it can also cause insomnia. When you're imbalanced, it you're, causes insomnia, anxiety, stress, worry, grief. That's why the grief is here. Confusion. Those are all negative words, my friends, which makes your chakras not feel balanced, makes them not want to work. Think of it. The chakras are a little, a little machine, right? They want to, they're little wheels within the body, little energy wheels. You want them to move as, you know, smoothly as possible. They don't always run smooth at all times. Of course not, because we're human, right? They don't always just go crazy like that. But you want them to run as smoothly as possible. Oil them up. <laughs> like the Tin Man. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on. That's why people do yoga. You guys do yoga, you'd know all about 
the yoga system and that's how people they get those chakras going waking them up kundalali okay let's see here success breakthroughs new ideas except yeah that's what it is it's going to cause this new beginning within yourself to where you're going to be able to make healthier decisions and more disciplined you know ideas and be able to solve the problems fix the problems speak the problems but it's going to bring in these new founded ways of doing things it's going to set you on a path that you're going to feel like that's where i needed to be now i don't feel like i'm off path or getting confused or lost. i just think for a lot of you it does cause grief it causes like a, oh my god and then why one day does it do this and the next day it doesn't do that right so there's no in there's no even real balance to the situation in itself because you're so off balance be aware that your thoughts and feelings are just as impactful as your actions. I think we just said that. Acquire gratitude for life itself. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. You guys got this. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.